Hi Saints, Bishop Jennifer here of the Diocese of Indianapolis, and I'm coming here to you with a couple of invitations, extraordinary invitations actually. I'm so excited to announce that our diocese has partnered with others, including Spirit in Place, to bring the documentary premiere of the Philadelphia 11 story, which is a documentary telling the story of women's ordination in the Episcopal Church. The story of ordaining women to the priesthood that made possible my own priesthood and indeed my call to the Episcopate. Indianapolis is the center of so much leadership for women in ordained ministry and we'll have a showing of the movie and an opportunity for a panel discussion with two of the women who were a part of that original movement. Two of the 11 will be with us, the Reverend Carter Hayward and the Reverend Nancy Wittig. I've heard that there will never be another opportunity where these two women will be uh, together in order to address the film and the history that they made possible. It will be a must-see event, so I hope you'll join us on that day. There'll be details under this video link. But if that wasn't enough, the next Friday, we will have among us Cole Arthur Riley, who is another woman who is making an incredible, um, what's the word? impact, uh, inspiration, uh, all the things that would help us think about our faith in new and deeper, more intimate ways from the lens of justice and liberation. Cole Arthur Riley has come on the scene about three years ago, posting on Instagram, and now she's released one book, This Hair of Flesh, and she's about to, to release another book, and she's going to be among us as our convention speaker, plenary speaker, and workshop leader, all at St. Paul's Cathedral, Indianapolis. This is a line through our history of women making the way for other women. And Cole Arthur Riley is the next generation already transforming the world with her words, her prayers, and her witness. So check out the details below, mark your calendars, invite your friends, set aside some time, and join us for what will be for men, women, for all our siblings, something that will be transformative. Join us.